In the realm of science, there are many mysteries that remain unsolved. Some objects have puzzled experts for centuries, defying explanation and captivating our imaginations. In this video, we will explore 20 objects that science has never been able to explain. Number 1. Saxiwaman Walls The Saxiwaman Walls are an impressive architectural feature found in the ancient Inca fortress of Saxiwaman, which is situated near Cusco, Peru. These walls were constructed during the 15th century and are made up of massive stones that are irregularly shaped. Some of these stones weigh over 100 tons and are fitted together with great precision without the use of mortar. The construction techniques employed by the Incas in creating these walls have long fascinated researchers who are still trying to comprehend how they managed to cut, transport, and fit such enormous stones with such remarkable accuracy. Numerous theories have been put forward to explain the methods used by the Incas, including the use of ropes and ramps, the manipulation of stone properties using plant extracts, and even the possibility of extraterrestrial assistance. However, no definitive explanation has been established, and the true techniques employed by the Inca builders remain a mystery. The Saxiwaman walls serve as a testament to the ingenuity and skill of ancient civilizations challenging our modern understanding of their capabilities and inspiring awe at the enigmas that continue to elude us. Number 2. Klerksdorp Spheres The Klerksdorp Spheres are a collection of small, spherical to disc-shaped objects found in South Africa. They are made of pyrophyllite, a soft metamorphic mineral, and come in various sizes. These spheres have a unique radial structure and often have parallel grooves along their equators, leading to speculation about their origins. Some people believe that the Klerksdorp spheres are evidence of advanced ancient technology or even extraterrestrial involvement. However, most scientists argue that they are naturally occurring geological formations called concretions. Concretions form when minerals precipitate around a nucleus, like a shell or pebble, resulting in a hard, compact mass. The radial structure and grooves seen in the Klerksdorp spheres can be explained by the natural processes of mineral deposition and erosion. Despite the scientific explanation, the Klerksdorp spheres continue to fascinate those interested in ancient mysteries and lost knowledge. They serve as a reminder that the natural world can create extraordinary and puzzling formations that challenge our understanding. Number 3. The Baigong Pipes The Baigong Pipes are a collection of peculiar pipe-shaped structures discovered near Mount Baigong in China's Qinghai province. These rusty red pipes, containing high levels of iron, are embedded in the rock and sand formations. Some of them extend deep into the mountain, while others reach towards the nearby saltwater lake, Tosan. Since their discovery in the 1990s, the Baigong pipes have sparked significant interest and debate. They vary in size, ranging from thin as a toothpick to over a foot in diameter. The origin and purpose of these pipes remain a mystery, with various theories proposed. Some suggest that they are remnants of an ancient advanced civilization, while others speculate that they could be the work of extraterrestrial beings. However, most mainstream scientists lean towards geological explanations. They propose that the pipes are the result of natural processes, such as the formation of iron-rich minerals through groundwater activity. Despite numerous studies and analyses, no definitive explanation has been reached leaving room for ongoing speculation and further investigation into this puzzling phenomenon. Number 4. Baghdad Battery The Baghdad Battery, also called the Parthian Battery, is a collection of three objects found in 1938 near Baghdad, Iraq. These objects consist of a ceramic pot, a copper cylinder, and an iron rod, which, when put together, resemble a basic galvanic cell. The purpose of the Baghdad Battery has been the subject of various theories, some suggest that it was used as a simple storage container, while others propose that it had the ability to generate a small electric current. One theory suggests that it may have been used for electroplating gold onto silver objects, a process known as gilding. However, this theory is still debated among archaeologists and historians due to the lack of evidence supporting the idea that ancient Mesopotamian civilizations had knowledge of electricity or electrochemistry. Critics argue that the battery-like appearance of the artifacts may be coincidental, and their true function remains unknown. The Baghdad battery continues to intrigue researchers, sparking interest in the technological capabilities of ancient civilizations and the potential lost knowledge that could have influenced our understanding of history. Number 5. Shroud of Turin The Shroud of Turin is an ancient piece of linen cloth that bears a faint image of a man, 
believed by some to be Jesus Christ. It measures approximately 14, 3x3, 7 feet, and shows the front and back impressions of a man with crucifixion wounds. The origins and authenticity of the shroud have been heavily debated, and many studies have been conducted to determine its age and the nature of the image. In 1988, radiocarbon dating tests suggested that the shroud was made between 1260 and 1390 CE, which contradicted the belief that it was Jesus' burial cloth. However, subsequent research has challenged these findings, suggesting that the sample used for dating was contaminated. The method by which the image was created on the cloth remains unknown, as no pigments or dyes have been found. Various theories have been proposed, including natural chemical reactions, artistic techniques, or even radiation during the resurrection. The Shroud of Turin continues to intrigue researchers, serving as a symbol of faith and a mystery that defies scientific explanation. Number 6. Dropa Stones The Dropa Stones, also called the Zopa Stones, are a set of disc-shaped objects that were supposedly found in 1938 in the Bayanhar Mountains of China. These stones, made of an unidentified material, are said to be around 9 inches in diameter and have a hole in the center and a spiral groove with small hieroglyphic-like markings. According to some reports, the stones were discovered alongside the remains of a small-statured ancient group called the Drapa, or Dazopa, who had unusually large heads. However, the authenticity of the Drapa stones and the circumstances of their discovery have been heavily debated and doubted by many researchers. Supporters of the stones argue that they provide evidence of contact with extraterrestrial beings or an unknown ancient civilization. On the other hand, skeptics dismiss them as a hoax or a misinterpretation of natural geological formations. The true nature and origin of the Drapa stones remain a mystery, as the artifacts themselves are apparently lost or kept hidden from public view. Consequently, the Drapa stones continue to intrigue people and spark speculation about the secrets of our ancient history. Number 7. The Main Penny The Main Penny, also known as the Goddard Coin, is a small silver coin that was found in 1957 during an archaeological dig at the Goddard site in Maine, USA. It is believed to be a Norwegian silver penny from the late 11th century, minted during the reign of King Olav Kira. This discovery has sparked interest and debate, because it suggests that Vikings may have had contact with indigenous peoples in North America before Columbus arrived. Some researchers argue that the coin is evidence of Viking presence in North America, while others believe it could have been brought to the region through trade or be a modern-day hoax. Despite extensive study, the origins and significance of the main penny remain uncertain, leaving room for further investigation and speculation. The coin is a fascinating clue to the potential interactions between ancient cultures and the possibility of unrecorded voyages and discoveries, challenging our understanding of history and human exploration. Number 8. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe, an archaeological site in Turkey, has challenged our understanding of human civilization. Discovered in 1994, it consists of stone enclosures with T-shaped pillars adorned with carvings. Radiocarbon dating places its construction at around 9600 BCE, making it one of the oldest monumental structures in the world. The purpose of Gobekli Tepe is still debated. Some believe it was a ritual or ceremonial center for early hunter-gatherer societies, while others think it played a role in the emergence of agriculture and complex social structures. The construction techniques and artistic skill displayed at the site have forced archaeologists to rethink traditional theories about prehistoric societies and the origins of monumental architecture. Gobekli Tepe is a remarkable example of early human ingenuity and ambition, urging us to reconsider our understanding of the past and the mysteries that remain unsolved. Number 9. Ulfbert Swords Ulfbert Swords are a collection of medieval European swords that have a unique inscription, plus V off Bert plus, on their blades. These swords were crafted between the 9th and 11th centuries and are highly regarded for their exceptional quality. What sets them apart is that they were made from high-grade crucible steel, a material that was not commonly available in Europe during that time. The production process of Ulfbert swords involved removing impurities and adding carbon, resulting in blades that were stronger and more flexible. The advanced metallurgical techniques used to create these swords have puzzled researchers because they were not believed to have been developed in Europe until many centuries later. The origins of the Ulfbert swords and the identity of their maker or makers remain uncertain. There are various theories, 
ranging from the swords being produced by a single workshop or smith to the idea that the inscription represents a prestigious brand that was copied by different craftsmen. The Ulfbert swords continue to fascinate historians and archaeologists, who are left wondering how such advanced technology was developed, used, and eventually lost during the Viking Age. Number 10. Fuente Magna Bowl The Fuente Magna Bowl, discovered in the 1950s near Lake Titicaca in Bolivia, is a source of controversy. This ceramic bowl, measuring around 14 inches in diameter, is adorned with intricate designs featuring animal and human figures. What makes it particularly fascinating is the presence of two different scripts engraved on its surface. One script resembles Sumerian cuneiform, while the other bears similarities to the Proto-Elamite script from ancient Mesopotamia. This discovery has sparked speculation about potential contact between ancient Mesopotamian and South American civilizations, challenging conventional beliefs about global exploration and cultural exchange. However, the authenticity of the bowl and its inscriptions has been a topic of debate among scholars. Some argue that it could be a modern forgery or a misinterpretation. The Fuente Magna Bowl remains a mysterious and controversial artifact, raising questions about ancient cultural interactions and the possibility of lost chapters in human history. As researchers continue to study and discuss its origins and implications, it serves as a reminder of the unknown aspects of our collective past. Number 11. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Discovered in 2011 by the Ocean X team, the Baltic Sea Anomaly is an enigmatic underwater formation found during a search for shipwrecks in the Baltic Sea. Measuring around 200 feet in diameter and located at a depth of approximately 300 feet, the anomaly has a distinctive circular shape with a raised central structure. Its unusual appearance has sparked widespread curiosity and speculation regarding its origins. Numerous theories have been put forward, including natural geological formations, remnants of a sunken city, or even an extraterrestrial spacecraft. However, due to limited data from sonar images and diving expeditions, no definitive explanation has been reached. The Baltic Sea anomaly remains a captivating mystery, reminding us of the many secrets that lie beneath the ocean's depths. Number 12. Nan Madel. Nan Madel, an intriguing archaeological site situated near Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia, is often compared to Venice due to its network of artificial islands and canals spanning approximately 200 acres. The site is famous for its unique megalithic architecture, which utilized enormous basalt logs weighing up to 50 tons to construct walls, platforms, and other structures. Despite extensive research, the origins and purpose of Nan Madol remain a mystery. Scholars believe that the site was built between the 13th and 17th century CE. Local legends attribute its creation to the supernatural powers of two brothers, while others suggest it served as a ceremonial and political hub for the ancient Saudalur dynasty. The methods employed to transport and manipulate the massive basalt logs, as well as the organizational and engineering skills required to construct the intricate island and canal system, continue to baffle experts. Nan Madel serves as a remarkable testament to the resourcefulness and determination of ancient civilizations, challenging our understanding of their capabilities and knowledge. Number 13. Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is an ancient book from the 15th century that is shrouded in mystery. It is written in a script that has yet to be deciphered, baffling experts in linguistics, cryptography, and history. The manuscript contains illustrations of plants, astronomical diagrams, and human figures, but their significance remains unknown. The enigmatic nature of the Voynich manuscript has sparked various theories, ranging from it being an elaborate hoax to a genuine repository of hidden knowledge. Despite extensive analysis and attempts to crack its code, researchers have been unable to uncover the true purpose and meaning behind the manuscript. This enigma serves as a reminder of the limitations of our knowledge and the enduring allure of unsolved puzzles. Number 14. The Longu Grottoes Discovered in the 1990s near the village of Longu in Zhejiang Province, China, the Longu Grottoes are a collection of 24 man-made caves. These caves, made from siltstone, are notable for their impressive size, intricate design, and precise construction. Each grotto has its own unique layout, featuring rooms, corridors, staircases, and intricately carved patterns on the walls and ceilings. It is estimated that over one million cubic meters of rock were removed during the construction process. Despite extensive research, the origins, purpose, and methods of construction of the Longu grottoes remain a mystery. 
While they are believed to be at least 2,000 years old, no historical records or inscriptions have been found to provide insight into their creators or their intentions. Theories about the grottos range from their use as a quarry or storage facility to a palace or underground city. The techniques used to excavate such an extensive and complex network of caves, as well as the means by which the rock debris was removed, continue to baffle researchers. The Longu Grottos serve as a fascinating example of the enigmatic wonders that lie beneath the surface, challenging our assumptions about the capabilities of ancient civilizations. Number 15. The Laladoff Plate The Laladoff Plate is a controversial object that was supposedly found in Nepal in the 1950s by a Polish archaeologist named Ernst Laladoff. It is a stone plate with a spiral design in the center and carvings of humanoid figures with elongated heads and almond-shaped eyes, as well as animals and geometric shapes. Some people believe that the plate is evidence of extraterrestrial contact or an unknown ancient civilization. However, the authenticity and importance of the Laladoff plate have been heavily debated and questioned by researchers. Many experts doubt its existence because there is no physical evidence or documentation of its discovery that can be independently studied. Consequently, the plate is often dismissed as a hoax or fabrication created to support alternative theories about ancient history or to capitalize on people's fascination with the unknown. Due to the lack of concrete information about its origins and its unverified status as an artifact, it is challenging to draw any definitive conclusions about the Laladoff Plate's significance or the mysteries it may hold. Number 16. Stone Spheres of Costa Rica The Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, also known as Las Bolas, are a collection of over 300 spherical stones found in the Dequis Delta and the Isla del Cano in Costa Rica. These stones, ranging in size from a few inches to over six feet in diameter and weighing up to 15 tons, were created by the pre-Columbian indigenous people between 600 and 1500 CE. They were made from various rocks, including limestone, coquina, and granite. The purpose and significance of these stone spheres have been a topic of debate and speculation. Some theories suggest that they were used as markers for important locations, or had astronomical significance, while others proposed that they represented power or status symbols. Despite extensive research, no definitive explanation for the stone spheres has been found, and the methods used to create them remain unclear. The stone spheres of Costa Rica serve as a testament to the skill and creativity of pre-Columbian cultures, challenging our understanding of their capabilities and the mysteries that still surround their beliefs and way of life. Number 17. The Perry Race Map The Perry Race Map, created by Ottoman Admiral and cartographer Perry Race in the 16th century, is a fascinating world map. Made on gazelle skin, it is a partial copy of an older source that depicts the western coasts of Europe and North Africa, as well as the eastern coast of South America. What sets this map apart is its surprisingly accurate portrayal of these regions, including the precise placement of islands and coastal features. Some experts have even suggested that the map shows an ice-free Antarctica, which is perplexing considering the limited knowledge of the time. This map has sparked much discussion among historians and cartographers who question how such a precise representation of the world could have been created in the early 16th century. Some argue that it indicates advanced cartographic knowledge possessed by ancient civilizations, while others propose that it is the result of Perry race skillfully combining multiple sources. Despite the ongoing debate, the Perry race map remains an enigmatic puzzle and a testament to the resourcefulness and curiosity of early mapmakers. Number 18. Antikythera Mechanism The Antikythera Mechanism, a valuable Greek artifact discovered in 1901 near the island of Antikythera, is a complex mechanical device operated by hand. It consists of a sophisticated arrangement of gears, dials, and pointers. Scholars have determined that the mechanism was likely constructed around 100 BCE, although its purpose has been a topic of discussion among historians and archaeologists for many years. Recent research and analysis have led experts to conclude that it functioned as an astronomical calculator, enabling the prediction of celestial body positions, eclipses, and even the dates of ancient Olympic Games. Interestingly, no similar devices from the same time period have been found, raising questions about the development and subsequent disappearance of such advanced technology. Number 19. The Phaistos Disc 
The Phaistos disc is a mysterious artifact found in 1908 at the Minoan Palace of Phaistos in Crete. It is a clay disc measuring about six, two inches in diameter, and is covered on both sides with a spiral pattern of 241 symbols. These symbols, which seem to have been imprinted using carved stamps, depict various objects, animals, and human figures. The disc is believed to date back to the second millennium BCE, making it one of the oldest examples of printed text. Despite extensive research, the meaning and purpose of the symbols on the Phaistos disc remain unknown. Some experts think it represents a form of writing or proto-writing, while others suggest it could be a decorative item or even a board game. Many attempts have been made to decipher the disc, resulting in proposed translations ranging from a religious hymn to a political treaty. The Phaistos disc continues to puzzle researchers, serving as a fascinating reminder of our limited knowledge about ancient cultures and their technologies. Number 20. The Takaxic Calixtlahuaca Head The Takaxic Calixtlahuaca Head is a small clay figurine that was discovered in 1933 at the pre-Columbian site of Toxic Calix Lahuaca near Toluca, Mexico. Measuring about two inches tall, the figurine depicts a bearded male face with distinctly European features. It has been dated to the 13th or 14th century, several centuries before the arrival of European explorers like Columbus in the Americas. The discovery of this artifact has sparked a lot of debate among researchers, as its European appearance challenges the accepted timeline of contact between the Old and New Worlds. Some scholars argue that it is evidence of pre-Columbian transatlantic voyages or cultural exchanges, while others believe it could be a more recent object that ended up at the archaeological site through trade, accidental deposition, or even a deliberate hoax. Despite numerous analyses and investigations, the origins and significance of the Takaxic Calixtlahuaca head remain uncertain, leading to ongoing speculation about the possibility of unrecorded encounters and connections between ancient cultures.